Welcome friends, in this video, let's discuss about nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle is an example of gaseous cycle. If you have not watched the previous videos about uh, biogeochemical cycles, please watch that and come back here. Uh, it makes sense, okay? And the nitrogen cycle. So nitrogen cycle is a process by which nitrogen is converted between various chemical forms, okay? It is converted between its various chemical forms and this transformation can be carried out through both biological and physical processes. So this biological and physical processes carries out transformation. That is biotic and abiotic factors. So this nitrogen cycle is the process by which nitrogen is converted between various chemical forms. Various chemical forms involves this elemental nitrogen that is present in the atmosphere is converted into ammonia. This is one of the chemical form of nitrogen and then is nitrates and then into nitrates by various microorganisms that is present in the soil. Okay, and this is called nitrogen cycle. So why nitrogen is important from the living beings point of view? Because it is an essential constituent of proteins. Okay, it is an essential constituent of proteins and protein is the building block of all living tissues. So this accounts, this nitrogen accounts for 16% of weight of all the proteins. So this is very important component for all living beings. And this nitrogen is present in the atmosphere up to 78% in the form of elemental nitrogen. Elemental nitrogen. And this elemental nitrogen cannot be utilized by the plants directly, by most of the living beings on the earth. So this has to be converted into other forms of nitrogen. So this nitrogen need to, need to be fixed and converted into ammonia, nitrates and nitrates before taken up by the plants okay and this this task is done by various class of microorganisms that i will discuss very shortly and nitrogen fixation on earth is accompanied by three ways before that uh, i would like to cl clear your doubts nitrogen is present in the atmosphere in the form of uh, elemental nitrogen okay elemental nitrogen and this nitrogen has to be fixed by the microorganisms into different forms like ammonia nitrates and nitrates okay and this this work is done by these microorganisms for example by microorganisms like bacteria and blue green algae okay another another uh, way of fixing atmospheric nitrogen is by human beings using industrial process like uh, fertilizer production and agriculture runoff is also contributing nitrogen to the soil and third way is atmospheric phenomena this include lightning and thunderstorms fixes atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates okay and by these three ways nitrogen is fixed on the earth okay the next important thing is microorganisms involved in fixing atmospheric nitrogen so the free living nitrifying bacteria for example aerobic azotobacter that is this this exists in the oxygen rich condition okay and anaerobic clostridium Anaerobic means it exists in the absence of oxygen, okay, clostridium. This is aerobic azotobacter and anaerobic clostridium. This fixes atmospheric nitrogen. These are called free-living free nitrifying bacteria. And another component class of bacteria called symbiotic nitrifying bacteria. Because these bacteria exist in association with, in symbiosis with the plants, okay. Uh, for example, the rhizobium. Uh, exist in symbiosis with leguminous plants. Uh, leguminous plants has roots. These roots contains root nodules, certain nodules. Within these root nodules, the rhizobium will be present. Rhizobium. This rhizobium fixes atmospheric nitrogen, elemental nitrogen, into ammonia. Thereby, the plants take up ammonia nitrogen in the form of ammonia. So this is called symbiosis because. Uh, both rhizobium and plant will get benefit because of this interaction. This is one of the biotic interaction. Okay, and another uh, symbiotic nitrifying bacteria include blue green algae. Okay, Anabena spirularia. These are important from examination point of view. Through these two mechanism, uh, atmospheric nitrogen is fixed. So plants cannot utilize elemental nitrogen as I discussed earlier. Plant take up nitrogen in the form of ammonia in S3 nitrate and nitrates okay and these three forms the plants take up for its growth and development so ammonia is directly taken up by the plants 
by way of symbiosis and ammonium ions is converted into nitrates okay by a class of bacteria called nitrosomonas okay and this nitrates is again converted into nit sorry ammonia is converted into nitrates nitrates sorry 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 nitrates by nitrosomonas and this nitrates i is important here this nitrate is converted into nitrates by nitrobacter bacteria so these two class of bacteria is important because these two bacteria convert uh, one form of ammonia into another form okay and after conversion into nitrates this nitrates is again converted into elemental nitrogen by denitrifying bacteria called pseudomonas thereby uh, completing the cycle for example uh, for instance because uh, atmospheric nitrogen is fixed into ammonium ions and then this ammonium ion is turned converted into nitrates and this nitrate into nitrates and this nitrates is again denitrified and released into atmosphere by the mechanism of by, by the process of uh, pseudomonas bacteria so this this uh, figure will clear your doubts here nitrogen fixation by thunder thunderstorms and lightning so this fixes nitrates into the soil okay and another thing is the plants and animal waste is decomposed and this contributes ammonia into the soil and this saprophytic bacteria converts this plant animal waste into ammonia okay this is this can be taken up by the plants directly okay this ammonia again converted into nitrates nitrates by nitrosomonas bacteria okay this nitrates can again be converted into nitrates by nitrifying bacteria called nitrobacter okay nitrobacter this nitrates can again taken up by the plants because it is available for the plants for direct uptake and again this nitrates can be released into the atmosphere by the process of denitrification where nitrates is converted into elemental nitrogen by certain class of soil microorganisms called uh, like pseudomonas these are called denitrifying bacteria they convert nitrates into elemental nitrogen thereby completing the cycle of nitrogen in the in this process so this is the mechanism please do not confuse the things so this is atmospheric nitrogen this is the nitrogen cycle okay as i discussed earlier so the plants and animal sources are decomposed by both uh, aerobic and anaerobic bacteria and fungi and this plant and animal source is released into the soil in the form of ammonia okay this ammonia can again be converted into nitrates by nitrification okay this nitrates can again be converted into nitrates by nitrifying bacteria this can be ass assimilated by the plants and this nitrates can again can again be denitrified that means this nitrates can be converted into elemental nitrogen by denitrifying bacteria like pseudomonas and this denitrified nitrogen is released into the atmosphere contribute to the atmospheric nitrogen this is one thing and the plants with the help of rhizobium and their root nodules that is leguminous plants fixes atmospheric nitrogen in the form of ammonia okay and this process continues so this is it and the human interference in the nitrogen cycle so by way of fertilizer production okay by utilizing uh, nitrogen sources uh, nitrogen sources in the agriculture operations human beings are contributing nitrogen to the atmosphere by the release of nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere this is having deleterious effect because it acts as a pollutant here in the atmosphere uh, in the strat stratosphere this act as a catalyst in ozone destruction okay this nitrate nitrous oxide and this nitrous oxide is also one of the greenhouse gases this contributing to the uh, climate change and global warming this is one thing and another thing is the ammonia in the atmosphere is acting as aerosol okay aerosol this aerosol cling to the water droplets in the atmosphere and this this led to the formation of nitric acid and this is dissolved in uh, uh, rain water and this come back to the earth in the form of acid rain this acid rain is 
having dangerous effect on the living system on the earth because it it destructs the uh, it, it is very dangerous for the all the living things and the third thing is agriculture runoff so the fertilizer utilized in the agriculture operation is runoff by means of uh, uh, soil erosion and other through transportation means to the nearby water bodies here since nitrogen is fertilizer it contributes to the development of uh, uh, plants and blue green algae in the blue green algae and other algal blooms in the water bodies thereby leading to the phenomena called eutrophication okay eutrophication this leads to destruction of uh, water body ecosystem thereby uh, inst uh, destabilizing the whole system so another another thing is this nitrates one form of nitrogen if it exists in more than the required quantity acts as a pollutant and a poison okay it contaminates the water it makes the water unfit for drinking okay if it if it if it, if it is present is in more than 10 ppm concentration 10 parts per million if the infants that is small babies uh, below 6 months drinks this water it will become seriously ill and it may lead to death of the infant also so a condition called methemoglobinemia or blue baby syndrome uh, is a result of this nitrogen contamination nitrate contamination of the water okay here this uh, this condition causes the reduction in the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood because hemoglobin uh, has the oxygen carrying capacity it reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood thereby interfering the normal life of the plant so the life of the living beings so thank you thank for watching please do not confuse with those uh, microorganisms please go through if you do not understood properly uh, for more videos on more videos on environment and ecology please click here uh, it will it will uh, drive to the all the videos so thank you thanks for watching